These nerve cells under the microscope are what researchers hope may one day reverse deafness. They were created from human embryonic stem cells, which have the ability to turn into any tissue. The scientists are trying to tackle a form of deafness that affects about one in ten people with profound hearing loss. In the condition, nerve cells in the cochlea in the inner ear are damaged, preventing sound from travelling along the auditory nerve to the brain, like cutting a telephone wire. In the lab, researchers grew stem cells derived from donated human embryos smaller than a pinhead and grew them into healthy replacement nerve cells. They injected these into 18 deaf gerbils, considered a good animal model for human hearing. And tests showed that on average, about 45% of their hearing was restored. We have the proof of concept that stem cells can be used to repair the damaged ear. But this is only the beginning. A lot more work is needed, but as proof of concept, we think it's a, it's a good step forward. Dose Ugo could hear perfectly as a child until she contracted typhoid. The treatment left her profoundly deaf. She works for the charity which helped fund the research and says she'd volunteer for any patient trials. I would definitely seize the opportunity to hear again. To know that in future when I have kids, I'll be able to hear them. I don't have to rely on my partner or a family member to tell me what my little daughter or son is saying. But many questions remain, such as does the hearing improvement last? The gerbils were followed up for just 10 weeks. And is it safe? The research in the journal Nature is encouraging. But these uncertainties mean patient trials using these cells are still several years away. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.